and welcome to our weekly episode of the Spark for Education live stream show. I'm so, so excited about our show today because I have some special guests and a huge announcement. Like I have shippers, I'm so excited. So today we're going to be sharing a new launch and I'm gonna let my guests, and I'll introduce them in a second, uh, share about this exciting news from Adobe Spark. But uh, before I even begin, if you are watching live, please, please, please go ahead in the chat and share with us who you are and where you're joining us from and what you teach. I'd love to know, you know, what's going on in your teaching world. But we're so thrilled about this launch today. And, and I have two special guests uh, to my right. I am so excited to introduce Miss Emily Chesborough, who is a our product marketing manager on the Adobe for Education team. And right underneath my very favorite, favorite Sayali, and uh, she's a product manager right? Am I saying this right? <laughs> yes, uh, always, there's so many titles here at Adobe and, uh, and Adobe for Education. And so I'll let them kind of introduce themselves and, and kind of share a little bit about what they do. It's kind of cool to have Adobe insiders come on and share these exciting new launches. So I'm super excited to have you on. Emily, do you want to start? Yeah, absolutely. Hey, everybody. I'm Emily Chesbro. I'm a K-12 education senior product marketing manager on the Adobe for Education business. And I'm really excited to be here today. Uh, Tanya, I feel like we've been on a whole journey together as we get ready for this launch. And I just want to thank you so much for all of your support in the whole process. Um, for folks that don't know me, I'm a former educator myself, and I've worked in ed tech companies the last five years. Um, and I think this is probably one of the most exciting launches I've been a part of. So I'm really excited to talk to all of you today. Guys, okay, 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 I'll stop my excitement. Yes, and Sayali, how about you? Yeah, uh, a second what Emily was just saying, thanks, Anya, for doing this for us and like, you know, giving us this opportunity. Um, hi, everyone, I'm Sayali. I'm a senior product manager on the Adobe uh, Creative Cloud for Education team, um, and I'm the lead product manager for this classroom account launch. Super, super excited to be doing this for all of you. Um, as a part of Adobe's Creative Cloud for Education team, I'm focused on making it easy for educators and students to get access to creative tools. You know, we all want that. Um, and then prior to Adobe, um, I worked in product management, strategy, engineering roles across the globe. So I've like really been all over the place. Um, so glad to be here today and talking to all of you. So to all of you teachers that are watching today, as you're thinking about teaching kids about like real life skills and design thinking. Sayali, literally her role is that role. And it's really exciting when I work with Sayali because, you know, we teach kids about being innovative and coming up with innovative ideas and, you know, kind of the processes of, you know, learning how to develop those ideas out and building empathy and, you know, defining problems. And that's literally a job and she's doing it. And so that's so exciting to kind of bring like what we do in the classroom and then see it unfold in real life. And that's the role that Sayali has here at Adobe. I'd love to have you on again. Sayali, because this is an area of interest for so many teachers around the world, because we do uh, a lot of work with design thinking, and that's like what you live. So I think it's cool to make the connection from like school to like real life. But that's another show. What I want to talk about today, and let's just get kick started. Like, what are classroom accounts in Adobe Spark? Like, what is this? Because I it's super new. It's a huge launch for us. It's a big deal. So what is it? Absolutely. You know, Tanya, I actually, I brought some slides with me. Oh, nice. <laughs> okay, if I share them with everybody. Totally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Amazing. Um, I'm really glad you asked. So this is the launch that we are sharing with all of you today. And I'm going to go ahead and just kick us off. Basically, Classroom Accounts in Adobe Spark are now available in a limited release. And we're really excited to be announcing that for eligible K-12 educators in the United States, teachers are now going to be able to set up their own classroom accounts in Adobe Spark, invite students to join those classrooms with a class code, and view their student projects throughout the year. Um, this is, just for context, this is something we've been working on for a long time here at Adobe. Since 2018, Adobe has offered Spark for Education uh, to schools and districts 
with school and district accounts and licenses, which have been really great. But one of the common requests we've gotten over the years is, you know, can we have a classroom account option so teachers can make their own accounts, but have it still be, you know, safe and private and accessible for their students. And that is what classroom accounts are here today. Awesome. And, 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 and this is super new for us as, as well. And, and, and I think like an important question to kind of wonder about is like, why, like, why would, why, why would we even want to use a classroom account? Yeah. I'm glad you asked Tanya. I, this is a really exciting opportunity for teachers who really need or want the ability to create a classroom account in their own classroom and manage their own student experience. And you might be in the situation for a variety of reasons. Maybe you're the kind of teacher who normally wants to make a classroom account and have access for your students. Maybe this is not normally what you do, but because of distance learning, you feel like you need the ability to do that. Whatever the case might be, there are really three main reasons that you might want to use a classroom account. The first is you want the ability to manage your own classroom account and manage your students' access as well. So by creating a classroom account, teachers are not only getting Adobe Spark uh, access for themselves, they're also able to give it to students that they invite with a class code. So students have their own classroom account, teachers have their own classroom account, and teachers can see all of this from the teacher classroom manager tool inside the teacher classroom account. The second reason you'd really want to consider this is the ability for students to view, the ability for teachers to view student projects. So one of the common areas of feedback we get from teachers is, you know, it's really great to have Spark access, but I'd like it to be easier for me to see my own students' work throughout the year. Through the classroom account tool, um, and Siley's going to have a demo for this later on in our live stream, you're actually going to be able to see your students' projects in real time as you go throughout the year without needing them to submit them or send them to you in some format. You can see them inside your own classroom account as a teacher. And then the last part that I think people get really excited about is that it's easy to get started quickly with this particular classroom account option. As a teacher, there are some eligibility requirements, and we'll get into that in a minute, to sign up to keep everything you know, safe and secure for yourself and your students. Once you've signed up, you can invite the students you need with a class code. Um, they can join using their G Suite for Education account. It's all very seamless and easy, and that's something that teachers who have piloted this experience have been really excited about. So those are the three main reasons. Basically, you can make your own classroom accounts and own them. You can view student projects and work throughout the year, and you can make it easier for students and yourself to get access with class codes. All right, and so this is a kind of like the big question that I know a lot of people have on their minds. But it does say limited release. And I think people are going to be kind of wondering, like, what does that mean? Like, who can actually use these classroom accounts? Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Sally, do you want to take this one? Yeah, I will. So uh, great that people are asking that question because we want to support all teachers everywhere, no matter where you are. But at Adobe, we also care deeply about student data privacy and safety. Um, so because of that, uh, classroom accounts are available in a limited release, which means that they're only accessible to teachers who currently meet the three things that Emily has listed there. Um, they need to be um, teachers in the United States, uh, K through 12 teachers. They need to have um, G Suite for education or Google accounts through their schools or district. Um, we don't support Microsoft um, or personal accounts today, but we are working hard as we speak on supporting more and more teachers. And then the last requirement is we need to, uh, the teachers to have an email address or a domain um, that is an education domain. Um, if you satisfy these three criteria, you can get these classroom accounts set up and start using them. Okay, teachers, don't freak out if you are not one of these criteria. I know that you want this, but there is a wait list because as Sayeli said, this is a limited release and they are working towards making things more open down the line. So if you are interested in joining the wait list, here is the bit.ly that you can go to to access that. So don't sweat it. It's going to come eventually. <laughs> Eventually. So, um, and also I want to just say, and I, I know we were talking about this before, but like, do you guys remember Google Docs and like, like 10 years ago and like where things were like things evolved. That's the beauty of 
the uh, of technology and starting somewhere. And that's what's so cool about Sai Ali's job. It's really about iteration and processes. So we're so excited to be starting. And I think that's where 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 we are. And this is the really big deal for educators all over, well, for now, the US, but it's going to, you know, hopefully the idea is that it's going to get bigger and better. So super excited about that. Now, I have another question for you, and this is super exciting. And this is about features, because I'm kind of curious about what are the most important features in classroom accounts? Sure. Um... I can take this one. Um, I'm going to list or talk about the top five features that you can see on the screen. The first one is Adobe Spark for education access. Um, so you know you can start getting the value of Adobe Spark in your classrooms. Super easy. It's a quick process that teachers like literally have to go through. Like I guess it's less than five minutes, or you know, depending on your speed, for you to go through the process, get set up. Not only that, you can easily invite students, any number of students, into your classroom with just a simple class code. Um, no other convoluted workflows or you know sign up processes. It's pretty quick and simple. Um, the second feature is that teachers have no limit on how many classrooms that they can create. So create as many as you want, invite as many students as you want, so you know all of them can get access to Spark. Um, the third one, Emily already touched upon this a little bit. Um, teachers can view student projects throughout the year they no longer have to you know, wait for students to turn in projects. They can actually go to the classroom manager, see what a student has been up to. And especially in times of remote learning, we know how important it is for teachers to like not just get the final turned in work, but even like monitor where the student is stuck at, potentially intervene and like try to support the student before they even go and um, submit their work. Um, the, the fourth one is logging in with G Suite for Education Google accounts. Um, students and teachers also can easily um, log in to the uh, like to Adobe using their G Suite for Education credentials, which means they don't have to remember yet another username or password. It's going to be so easy, even for younger kids especially. Um, and then lastly, education safety and privacy protections. Um, you will get the same enterprise grade safety privacy protections. Um, in fact, probably even more protections than that, uh, you know, because we want to make sure that, you know, this is a safe, safe experience for all of the teachers and students involved. Which is so important and which is it was just such a great feature that we have for our students. So this is great. And th this is genuinely so amazing. I, I think t that uh, our teachers might actually just want a chance to see like what it would look like in action. Sayali, can you give us a tour of the experience? Yep. Can't wait for it. All right. Um, you guys can see my screen. Okay. Right. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So teachers will first need to go to spark.adobe.com slash edu. Um, sorry. You're yeah. good. <laughs> and then <laughs> they are on the Spark edu uh, page, they can, you know, A, go through, read about what Spark is. If they're not, um, you know, if they don't know what the Spark product is, if they already know and they want to get started, just like go to click started, uh, get started, click on it. Make sure that you, um, you know, quickly uh, go through the eligibility criteria and, you know, understand if you're supported. Um, then the next step is to get started. Once you do that, this is where you land. Like, if for some reason you've missed checking whether or not you're eligible, don't worry, we got you covered. Um, you can also do the same check here. Teachers can enter their email address. If you're eligible, you'll go on to the next step uh, where you log in with your G Suite for Education email enter your password, complete the Adobe profile if you're new to Adobe and don't have an account existing, um, enter the details of the school that you belong to. Um, for this step, we use a third party service called SureID, which uh, validates whether or not you're a US teacher. They have a pretty good uh, coverage in the US. So you know, if you're a teacher, there's a very, very uh, high chance that you'll pass through. Once we verify you, you can click next agree to Adobe's terms of use. Once you do that, um, you can enter the information of the classroom where you want to start using Spark. And that's it. Um, you're done creating your classroom account. You can 
start inviting students at this point, there's a direct link option that you can share with your students uh, through the LMS or email or any other mechanism that you want to use. Um, or you can also have students navigate to spark.adobe.com slash classroom slash join and have them enter their class code. Um, if you don't want to invite your students right away, that's fine too. Um, you can go to the classroom manager and this is your own custom console where you can invite students, you can create more classrooms, you can um, check students' work once they're added here. Um, you can view teaching resources. There's a getting started guide you know, to help you get started and start getting the value of Spark. If for some reason um, you're stuck or have any questions, you also have like you know live chat agents that are ready um, to you know help you solve any issues that you might be running into. This is great. I I wish I had this when I first got started. Um, I was just telling uh, Emily and Sayali that I was actually one of the very first beta schools in all of the world to beta test Spark for Education many years ago. It's actually kind of like part of the story of, of how I had connected with, uh, with you guys. And when I first started, it was so painful to get it set up and this would have been so good. But I know that as a teacher, we get this all time. And this is why this is so powerful that you've done this because so many teachers are dying to get their classes connected and they don't have the ability or they don't have the power to, you know, to get it done from their IT admin per se, or like, it's just, you know, they want to have more control or manage and like you've provided now this opportunity for uh, to put the, the power back into the hands of our teachers to, to, to use the tools that they love using, which is really powerful. And, and Adobe Spark is one of those tools that is just so awesome. And so thank you for this so much. Now I have another question for you. Uh, if I am a teacher in the class and I want to view and delete student work, how do I do that? Okay, so um, let me, yeah. So let's say you're a teacher. You know, you you've invited your students. They have now joined your classroom. This is where you'll start seeing the list of all of the students that you've joined. Um, and you do want to let's say you want to view Jeff's work. You can click next to Jeff's name. You can click on View Projects. And you can see all of the different projects that Jeff has um, been working on, even though he's probably not turned them in uh, into the LMS. Um, you can monitor the progress and like see what he's up to. If Jeff has been up to no good and created <laughs> some, you know, some me uh, memes or you know some work that is probably disrupting the classroom, you could go in, you could view it, um, and you can also delete it so that you know you basically can get your class in order and get on with the rest of your work. Oh my gosh. I, I could tell you how much I would have loved that when I was in the classroom uh, last, well, not last school year, but the year before. So this is great. That's a great feature. I have another question for you. Um, so how do I, um, how, how do students create their classroom account and, and when well, you showed that, right. And join the classroom. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So I, I wanna leave a moment for people also, if you're watching and you have some questions, that would be great. Um, you know, we'd love to hear from you. Uh, we have some awesome people watching. So we have Tim Needles over here and he actually was one of our early testers. So he says, we're in a class using Spark now. Exciting news, so, so excited, yay. And this is awesome. Just wish I had it a week ago when I gave my classes assignments. <laughs> so this is going to come really in handy for so many teachers to be able to have that access. So Emily. Hey, Tanya. Sorry, before you hand over to Emily, let me just quickly walk you through what the student flow is. Oh, absolutely. Um, so that it's super easy, but let me just share it with the, with the crowd here. Um, so if you guys remember the class code link that I was talking about, like, you know, if students get access to it and they click on it, this is where they land. Um, they can click next, sign in with their Google uh, G Suite for Education email address. Once they do that,
they'll basically get, you know, be asked to confirm that they are joining the right classroom. Once they do that, that's it. Like they will land at Spark, they can start creating um, for the classroom. That's how that easy it is. Awesome. That is so awesome and so exciting. And we're so thrilled to have you guys here sharing it today. Um, I'm excited to see people sharing um, their their excitement as well. Um, it just came out. So, um, I mean, this is like the best thing that's happened with Adobe Spark in a very long time. So here we go. This is what it looks like for the student when they pop in, which is awesome. So welcome home. I love that. This is great. Well, I, I want to make sure that people who have questions, you know, know where to go. So Emily, where would you advise people to go if they have any questions, if there's anything that uh, they they might need to know? And you're muted just in case you. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I know, right? The mute button. So good, but sometimes too powerful. Thank you so much, Tanya. Yeah, if you have questions about this, I do have a blog post that explains all about the launch. So if you want to go to the blog post, we can definitely share that afterward. Um, as Tanya said, if you are not yet one of the eligible teachers, you know we hear you, we see you, please join the wait list. We really want to make sure that your voice is heard. And we really do take it seriously. As Tanya said, this is the first step in a journey and we want to be, have you on the journey with us. So please join the wait list, be involved. We're excited to hear from you. Um, in terms of kind of frequently asked questions, we do have a help center that you guys can go to. If you go to sparta.w.com, there's a help center there. If you've got questions on Spark Classroom accounts, we're happy to have you guys go there and check out those articles too. Um, awesome. Yeah, I mean, those are some of the key resources and places to go. Of course, we recommend that everybody goes to edx.adobe.com for the Adobe Education Exchange. If you haven't heard of it, man, it is a great resource and tool for educators. We have hundreds of free resources, lesson plans, and including how to get started with Adobe Spark, which you know our very own Tanya has, has written some of those lessons and their resources out of the gate. So once you create your classroom account, don't worry, we've got you set up with lessons and content. Just check out edx.adobe.com and you know Tanya or others will help you get started. Absolutely, and and you can also make sure that you join the uh, Spark for Education Facebook group. If you are not already a uh, part of it, definitely check it out. It's a new group, updated group. We we just are we're in the process of migrating from our old group into a new public group, so that we have the ability to collaborate and share more. So we're super duper excited about that. If like I said, definitely check it out uh, facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash spark for education uh, I am managing it with my partner in crime Dominic trainer and we have literally a seven-day uh, schedule of activities and resources and live streams that happen so this is this is spark for education live stream Wednesday with me Dom is on Mondays and so we are super excited and we're going to be starting sharing um, a lot of the edX resources and highlighting some of the uh, the Adobe teachers that have actually contributed to a lot of our new lessons that are coming out. So definitely be on the lookout for that. So. I want to thank you guys so much for coming on and joining me today and joining all these amazing educators that are all over uh, the US and all over the world who join us every single week. And I want to thank all of you for taking the time out of your very busy schedules for watching today. I see so many of you watching and, and we're so blessed and so grateful to have you as part of our family here at Adobe. And, uh, Guys, I'll have to have you back on again, and uh, let's make this a regular event where we can share some of the really awesome stuff that's coming out. So thank you so much. Thank awesome. you, Tanya. Thank you, Tanya. All right, and we'll be back next Wednesday at one o'clock Eastern Standard Time. I look forward to seeing you there. 